Right in the heart of Ho Chi Minh City is the Bentan Market. The large marketplace is one of the oldest remaining structures from the old Saigon. It's a fun outing for experiencing Vietnamese local crafts and souvenirs. Up to you. <laughs> I think he's trying to, he's selling, um, once you pull a camera out, everybody shuts up. That's a good trick. Michael Jackson. Here you can buy almost anything. Madam, you want my husband? <laughs> I already have one, thanks. <laughs> but uh, I get you a rich husband. Oh, excellent. Not the one you got at the moment. <laughs> I think uh, we've reached Shoesville. Pick your own shoes. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. More shoes. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know. You want something for you? Uh, oh, no English. No, no, no English. No, no. No English. Why, why no English? Uh, oh, too dumb. Too dumb. Yeah. This is very nice. No, I don't think so. Oh baby. A baby. He's asleep. You want to buy something, madam? No. <laughs> I want to buy nothing. I want to buy nothing. Do you have that? What are you looking for? Nothing. We're looking for nothing. Do you have that? You look like Vietnamese, right? No, Chinese. Where are you from? Too smart. Chinese. Yeah, no. I'm, no, I'm from my mother. I'm from my mother. Uh, you don't can talk Chinese language? Oh, I can't talk anything. No English. Chinese and Vietnamese, same, no. same. Skin. Yeah, same. Yeah. Same. <laughs> for you. Oh, no money. No money. Okay, I give you coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Within walking distance of our hotel were several other markets and during the course of our six day stay we visited them. Yeah. By the way, it was hot there and these inside markets have no air conditioning. Outside of the market, there was always pressure to take some service or buy something. In Vietnam, the local shopping experience is quite different. You can drive right up to the shop and even into it. Who would have thought in 2011 that Vietnam had driverless carts? I 
Okay, let's go. Vietnam ranks 50th highest in the world for road deaths. So learning to cross the road at an early stage is useful. Walk slowly. Right, we made it alive. Why did the chicken cross the road? Would be a good question in Ho Chi Minh City. Cocks and chickens seem to be everywhere. Looking back, it seems funny to be using a paper map. Nowadays, it's a smartphone with GPS. Next, we walked past the Opera House, and then a door with an ATM machine in it, and then past various street scenes. And now for our power line chapter. Being a retired electrical engineer, it's always a fascinating subject for me. Our hotel also offered massage and spa, which Lillian took full advantage of. So you want to pay now a charge room? Sorry? Are oh, you want to pay now? Yeah. She'll pay now. <laughs> Do you relax now? Okay. The four of us decided to try the fish foot massage. There were plenty of places that offered this service. Wow, look at that, they're crawling all over you. Oh my god, I don't want your feet. Who's got the best feet? You must have the worst feet then. Save some for me. <laughs> Save some room. <laughs> don't do that. Come on, don't be a baby. Don't be a baby. I can't yeah. do this. <laughs> it's the hairs that they're going for. Oh! <laughs> Oh come on, look, there's only two fish on there. <laughs> wow, there's lots of fish on you. Oh, okay, I gotta give up. You're not getting your money, sweetie. Oh, oh. You're a wood. Look, you're a wood. How can you judge me before you know what I'm feeling? Oh, because we have it. Yeah, but some people are slightly more sensitive than me. <laughs> Clothes shopping and more clothes shopping seem to fill our six day holiday. What a great time we had in Ho Chi Minh City. In the next episode, the final episode, we visit the Coochie Tunnels and take a look up the Batexco Tower. Meanwhile, here are some of our memorable scenes of Ho Chi Minh City. <laughs>